Okay, we have our we have our grid set out, our page set out, and we know how it's going to look. And uh, now what we want to do is we want to get this earth image to move a little bit. But we don't want, just want it to move at any time. We also want it to move when we press a key, like right, up, left, or down, or any other key. So you've got basically you've got the uh, page one to XML. You've also got page one to XML dot VB. That doesn't show at the top. Go to the Solution Explorer, which you can get visible by clicking up there. And then you'll have your page one, and then you'll have a little thing underneath it called page one to XML, XAML dot VB. So if we double click on that, that'll take us to the code for it. Another way to get to it is by clicking on one of your controls, say the image. If I double click on that, that will also take me to the same place, except it'll write a little bit of code for me. But I don't need that code at the minute. So basically, first off, what you need to do to be able to give, to be able to allow, um, for user control input if you don't have buttons or anything on the page is you need to give give focus to the screen so to do that we first need to give our grid a name so we're going to call our grid at the top i've called it my grid so we just click in the center somewhere uh, and then go up to make sure you've got the grid and then just call it my grid you'll probably at the moment have no name or something like that written in there okay so now we've given it a name so now if we go into our code we've got a few drop down boxes up the top and we've got our class page one okay so if you click on the left drop down box you've got page one events an event is basically something that fires uh, when a certain thing happens a routine that runs when a certain thing happens so we're now looking in page one events and what we want to do is when the page loads we want to give focus to to that so now we've got a thing down here called loaded so let's click on that and that writes a little bit of code for us vb done it does a lot of that for you it's really really helpful uh, so what we want to do first off is when the page loads in between your private sub and all the code there that says this is what's going to run in the end sub everything between there is what's going to run when the page loads okay so we've called it my grid so if you type in my grid uh, that'll bring you up uh, in the auto populate so what we want to do is say my grid dot focus okay so we just come off that we can get rid of all the spaces between it because we don't need any more okay so basically when the page loads that will give focus to the grid but obviously that's not going to help us yet also what we need to do is another event which is called key down okay so we can go into the page one events again we've got key down we've got key up there's also a lot of other things here you've lost focus that's useful if you want to pause the game when the user exits the screen or something like that but we're going to use the key down so page one key down this is what's going to happen when you press a key okay so uh, let's say uh, we want to move the image so let's have a look back in page one click on the image you can see in the name of the image it's called image one we can change that to earth image or just leave it as image one if you want but whatever it's called in here is what it be referred to as in here so now we come back into our code and type in earth image and then dot now this is quite a complicated one because it's you have to create a new thickness uh, as it says there property system dot windows dot thickness so margin so we need to create a new thickness so we're going to say that earth one dot margin equals new thickness now a thickness is actually a position uh, on on the um, on the grid uh, so what we're going to say is now you've got a few options you've got uniform length is double but if you scroll this down you've got a few more parameters that you can pass through the two that we're going to worry about is left and top so we want to set its left and we want to set its top so to get its left and its top we grab all the code for the earth one margin earth one dot margin and if you press dot again you've got an option for left and you've got an option for top that's the distance from the left side of the screen that's the distance from the top of the screen okay so if we say left and we know that the first property we're passing through is the left then we say plus one uh, and on the next one we're going to add earth image dot top and then the last two we don't need to worry about because the image has already got a width <coughs> and, a, and a height um, so we don't need to specify uh, where the right and the bottom of it is 
so we'll keep those as zero. So the, it, what we're saying here is then we want to set its margin, its distance from the side, from the left and the top of the screen, to its own left from distance from the screen plus one. And what that means is it's one pixel further away when you press a key than it was before. It's going to add one onto it and put it in that position. And the margin dot top means it's going to keep the the top of the image the same basically so now if we run our program once this loads our page has focus and now you can see the images moving across as I press my right key I press right now and the image is moving across when I press up it will also move right when I press left it will also move right any other key I press the image will always move in the same direction so, say you wanted to move the image left, you could change that to minus one. And that would make the image's left be slightly less than it was before. So we'll quickly see how that looks. Okay, now it's moving the other way, no matter what key I press, and it's coming off the screen completely. Okay, so back to this code, if we wanted it to move up, then we say it's top minus one instead of it's left minus one. And if we wanted to move it down, we'd say it's top plus one or it's top minus one. And that's how you'd move an image.